Oh, hello everybody in YouTube land. Uh, just out for the test ride. I say a test ride, it's not a test of a bike or anything like that. It's a test of a microphone. I've been uh, looking at the audio of my videos and it could be better. So what I've done is, I've... Um, Spliced in a couple of Senna microphones into a 3.5mm USB adapter and I've stuck them in my helmet. Um, I, I'm not sure whether there's a problem with, while doing motor vlog vlogging this is, whether there's a problem with putting the, the wind noise reduction on on the camera but uh, it sounded pretty awful on a video that I did yesterday with a reasonable microphone it has to be said as well um, I'm gonna have to retest that as well with this uh, with the noise the wind noise reduction off as well we'll see how this goes so I don't know whether you're going to be able to hear us in this or not but uh, if it's decent audio I'll, uh, I'll post this video I'll probably just keep this microphone actually to be honest you know centre microphones are generally pretty good anyway they're also very neat inside your helmet you know the the sticky ones for those that have got centres you know it's dead easy to place them in your helmet and stuff and like I say, I've spliced two of them. That's a microphone each side. What I was going to do is I was going to do it um, so as it was stereo, but um, the microphone adapter for the uh, for the DJI Osmo Action um, doesn't support stereo. So, but if it does, then it's not working. Because I did give it a try, like and um, it didn't work so I just got a, three, a, a mono 3.5 millimeter but I didn't have to I could have used just the, uh, the what's we call it ones the, uh, the TRS ones but um, I thought that works Yeah, I thought bollocks, I'll just um, get a 3.5mm mono, that's TS is it, or RS, one of the two, TS I think, um, and just wire them both into that and see how it goes, you know, so you're kind of getting all round um, audio, you know, it's not facing in one particular direction or anything, but, um, you know, you won't be getting it in stereo anyway. So really that's all I'm uh, out doing today, of course it's a nice day, a little bit windy, not as windy as yesterday mine, so we might get the odd shower blown through, yesterday I got caught in a bloody shower, the bike's a mess like, need to clean it. Yeah a little bit of a pain yesterday. From that point of view, the weather point of view. Yeah, I've had a couple of little extras put on the bike as well. I'll show you those when we get to the airfield. I'm gonna have to start doing a little bit more than just going to the airfield, aren't I? Must be getting boring for you guys, like. Yeah, but it's a good place just to sit. Nice backdrop with the um, with the Vulcan bomber there, and nice backdrop for when I'm showing you bits and pieces on the bike. And as far as the bike goes, still loving it. I think it's a great little bike. This still haven't run it in. Still only got 300 miles on the clock. There's maybe another reason why I should do some longer rides out there. 
come the summer, doing the odd ride out. So yeah, as I say, I've got a couple of little uh, add-ons for the bike, which I'm going to show you. Nothing special, you know, nothing too overboard. But yeah, yesterday, like I say, I rained off. The can was still working, which is a good thing. I'm not sure whether this um, mic adapter is working right, to be honest, like, but I need to do a bit of, um, you know, a bit of uh, homework on them just to see what the crack is with these things. This and that exhaust. <laughs> that, that exhaust, like, it's beautiful. The sound it makes. We don't get us wrong, I did like the um, the standard exhaust as well, it wasn't bad. I don't know if we've got any planes coming in today. modifications that we've done on the bike so that's the first one for you we've had the uh, rear seat cowl I bought one of those which is pretty cool in my opinion looks good and what I really like about it and it was one of the reasons why I bought it was as you can see it's uh, not one of those things that just fit over the existing seat. It's got all its own fitting, so that's great. Yeah, because I've had one or two that have just been, you know, just uh, a cover for the for the actual passenger seat. But this one isn't, which is great. Another thing that I've done is I've put some blue tape blue reflective tape on the wheels which isn't very noticeable until you shine a light on it which I think is kind of cool just to make them pop a little bit and the last item that I've got is this here and I managed to get that uh, for nearly half the price normally 55 quid for, uh, <laughs> for, a, for an oil filler cap 55 quid you know what I mean but there's not they've not sold many of them but i managed to get it for 30 quid so i'm quite happy with that it comes with three rings uh three different rings which you insert into it and uh, there's blue red and green and gold and what it also comes with comes with its own key little hex key for undoing it and screwing it up and stuff that's pretty cool yeah so that's the uh, little changes that I've done to the bike so far as you can see she's in a hell of a mess at the moment in a hell of a mess I'll have to get the uh, 
wash it on that. A lot of people have been asking us about the screen, what type of screen it is and stuff. Um, just so as you know, it's a Givy screen. I can't remember the number. It's I think it's 3113 or something like that. Yeah, it's a nice screen that. Like I say, I had one on the um, on the Honda. But uh, this is... And it looked good on that, you know, but it uh, looks even better on this, I think. You know what I mean? It does match the bike like. Yeah, nice screen. Very nice screen. So, we're going to have a cigarette, as usual. And then we'll get back out on the bike. So, I'll see you shortly. Hope you can see this like I'm seeing it. She's a big bird. She's a very big bird. Shouldn't be in here like uh, authorised people only, but you know, you've got to do it, haven't you? You've got to do it like. Yeah, when Britain was great. My favourite though has to be said of the ones that are on here. I still like the Canberra the best. Not the prettiest plane. But oh god almighty, tripping all over the place. A nice plane all the same. But that is just a beast that like. Total beast. Yeah, the V bombers. What was it again? The Valiant. It was a Valiant. What else was there? The Valiant, the Victor, and of course the Vulcan. Yeah. Cool. Cool as anything. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Vulcan bomber and Solway Aviation Museum. If anybody's in the area and you're interested in that sort of thing, you know, come down at Carlisle Lake District Airport and uh, follow the signs to the Aviation Museum. And they've got loads for you to look at, and not just the planes. You know, they've got. Uh, Lots of displays inside and what have you. A um, bit of history of the airport, other interesting stuff. Yeah, so definitely worth a visit. Like I say, anybody's in the area, give them a shout. You can even go and sit in the Vulcan if you. Uh, You know, if you phone them first and book it, sort of thing. Anyway, so enough about Solway Aviation Museum. Let's talk about Suzuki GSX 750s. What a motorbike they are. I have to say I'm really really happy with this thing like it's a fantastic motor and as I say I'm still running it in as well so I haven't really unleashed its uh, capabilities 
Yeah, it's a grand bike for sure. Just wondering where to go today. Can't go very far because I've got the dog to walk and everything yet, so. Yeah. There's still a little bit of wind about now that we're starting to uh, get into it. Which isn't a bad thing, like it's not bad wind, not like it was yesterday. It was really, it was more a hooly yesterday. Like I say, there was um, showers blowing through all the time. And as I say, I got caught in one of them. It was a hell of a shower as well, there was hailstorms on me and everything. It was pretty awful. I'm all clear. convoy yeah it's a great bike like I know I keep saying it but it's a fantastic little motor seat position is great handlebars great the dash I know people say that it's cluttered oh, your, your dash is cluttered on this but it's like I say it shows you everything that you need to know as clearly as anything you know, your revs, your speed, and your gear indicator, I suppose, as well. The rest of it, you know, time, all that sort of paraphernalia, fuel, you know, it's all by the by, really. Yeah. You know, nice to knows rather than essentials. Of course, because it's a naked bike, you get a bit of wind. But, you know, if you don't want uh, too much wind, you, you don't buy a, a naked bike, obviously. Like, even on the sports bike, you're going to get, you know, on, on a sports bike, should I say, you're going to get a bit of wind. You know, unless you took your heed down to the tank. You know, and if you want to buy a tuna, then buy a tuna, that's great. No problem. But for a uh, Naked street bike. This is amazing, like. Because it has that sporty heritage, having the, the K5 Suzuki engine. And I believe they put the K5 Suzuki engine in um, just because it's a more of an up upright engine, you know. You know, whereas like even the CB650, now that engine was originally in the CB600RR, and uh, it's more of a length forward, you know what I mean, sort of, more of on a tilt, you know, and of course it's got that, uh, had that stepped gearbox as well. Where the gearbox was on top of each it on top of itself so sort of stacked I think that's the word that I'm looking for it was stacked but 
this is a much smoother engine than the CB650 way smoother now I don't know if there was a problem with my CB650 but uh, at 4,000 ish revs and 7,500 ish revs you know, I used to get some I've got a fair bit of vibes eh whereas this just seems and of course I haven't had it higher up in the rev range but certainly lower down seems spot on like Even at these low revs, you know, it's still got uh, enough get up and go, you know. Despite that sort of sports bike heritage that it has. Yeah, that's a great bike. I really do like it, like. I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels, I like, like the way it feels when I'm on it. I still wish they'd make a, a Katana version like that would be awesome especially if they put a pop of bed light on it like the old 750 used to have ah it's a great bike I do like it it's putting into doubt whether I get the katana like it has to be said you know, I was thinking maybe the end of this year beginning of next year I'd maybe trade up and go for a katana but at the moment I think this is a, a bike for me to be honest There's a lot that the um, that the CB650 has, eh? You know, in that you know you can just ride nice and easy without any problems. You don't have to rev it everywhere, but it's got that capability. You know, you can rev the nuts off it if you want to. And yesterday I went through Carlisle. There's a lot of roadworks in Carlisle at the moment, and she behaves beautifully, like in that in those situations, you know, moving in traffic, filtering that sort of thing. Yeah, it's a great little bike. These this, and it's great to be back on a Suzuki. You know, I've got a penchant, I think. Is that the word? I like Suzuki's and it's really just because my first bike that I ever owned was a Suzuki and um, I don't think it's anything to do with brand loyalty more to do with what's the word nostalgia I think that's maybe the word nostalgia is Warwick Bridge and Corby Hill and just put some um, average speed cameras in here it's bad enough uh, just with the normal speed cameras but uh, like I say they've put it from one end of the village right to the other right to the beyond the, the bridge and up the hill Pretty ridiculous like it's all about revenue like
Yeah, busy speed cameras. Slow down, Mark. I'm going to be doing 33. But yeah. Then I believe that they're uh, talking about putting blooming noise cameras about the place. Fucking noise cameras. I have, you know, well, sorry for swearing and that, but noise cameras. Now, if I was a kid and my village had a noise camera in it, I'd be sitting under it all day long and I'd be bloody making noise every time a car came by. And you can guarantee that's going to happen. Kids having fun with them. I don't know if they'll, you know, they'll work that way, you know what I mean? Whether they actually record the sound of whatever's going by. But, uh, yeah. If it was down to me, as a kid, you know, I live in one of them villages there, uh, they're putting them blooming noise cameras in. I'd be sitting under it making noise all day long. Especially in summer holidays. like about the GSX 750? Well, everything, except maybe the tyres. I think when I get the chair, get the pardon me, had a big dinner today. I think when I get the chance, um, when I've got these uh, worn out, I'll probably change the tyres out for the uh, for the, for the Michelin Road 5s you know, I used them for a short time on the CB650 um, just like a couple of months before a couple, a couple of months before I traded it in uh, for this still bloody brand new I know eh? the tyres ladder so so yeah I did like them like I like the way they felt just from I, I assume they'll be much the same on here like but uh, if anybody's got the experience of the road fives on the GSX S750 uh, I want to put something in the comments let us know what they're the like Like I say, I assume they'll be just as good on this as what they were on the CB650 like. Again, I'll move out of your fucking door. Water 
doing the river at the moment. So anyway chaps, um, that's about it for today really, so I'll say my goodbyes and uh, hopefully see you next time, but until then, ride safely, take care everybody.